Welcome to this brief introductory video for SCSJ's election collection. If you're watching this, then I've already sent you an email with your login ID and password. Now all you need to do is download the app and begin. When you open the app, it's going to ask you if you need to use your current location. Go ahead and allow that. Also, please allow it to send um, data using the 3G network if necessary. Okay, so it's going to open with a login screen. This is where you enter your um, username and password that I've sent you. I'm just going to log in with a generic guest ID. Okay, so this is going to be your home screen for um, when you first open. Um, to pull up all the reports, go ahead and click onto the maps, and it's going to bring you to the menu at the bottom. This is a precinct checklist sheet that you can um, go ahead and just record observations of the precinct when you first arrive. The exit poll is something you can go ahead and administer if you're standing outside and want to chat with some voters as they leave and collect their impressions of their voting experience. But the most important and kind of the reason we're here today is the SCSJ election collection form, which can record um, uh, various instances of um, voter suppression or voting irregularities at polling places. So go ahead and select Done. Once you see that it's loaded in maps and in layers, go ahead and hit Form in the bottom corner, which is going to bring us to uh, the actual form where we'll record the, uh, the incident. Um, you can either use the GPS um, when you're outside, this is recommended, or you can use a pinpoint using um, your data plan. Um, right now we're inside in the middle of the building, and um, our resolution, our, our accuracy is not fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and use a pinpoint, and I'm going to select a location, and it is zooming in where we are right now. If you need to check, you can go ahead and change the size. And yes, that is our location. Go ahead and hit accept in the corner, and we can go ahead and begin. So the first question, make sure, very basic, did they get to vote? So we're going to go ahead and say yes. Was it a provisional vote? Um, the voter that I'm interviewing, I'm going to go ahead and say yes, is theirs was provisional. You can go ahead and record an impression on how long did they wait. And then there's a, what follows is like a series of drop-down menus that are options for potential um, voter inconsistencies or um, polling place problems that you can record here. Um, the polling hours problems, polls open late, early, did not extend hours. Please note that the default for all of these, which will make sure that we don't record inconsistent data, is um, please choose. So if you don't want to record um, a specific observation, you want to leave it blank, make sure that please choose is selected. Um, similar for polling site problem. And I'm going to choose that the voter reported to the wrong precinct, and that was the principal issue. For voter ID issue, I just wanted to note that not having an ID, forgetting to bring an ID, being turned away for an invalid ID, or having an ID, not being allowed to vote are all um, options that will not be on the forms used in North Carolina. Instead, there will be voter, was wrong, voter ID was wrongly required. Um, and of course, that will not be included on other states' forms. Okay. Registration issues, purging of records, um, again reporting to the wrong precinct, which is the second place and um, give you a second option um, if you were just thinking about it as a registration versus a polling place. And for North Carolina, I could not seem to register.
In the other problem box, you just need to click on it if you wanted to add any extra information or if there were any um, observations that needed to be um, further detailed, you can go ahead and enter it here. Um, go ahead and enter the voter's first name and similarly. I'll just enter my name. Um, please note that the first name and the last name are required to submit the form, but the middle name is not. And for the race, um, it is a select one only. So note you do have a problem or a um, option for other or unspecified. You do have the option of taking a photo if, um, if it would be helpful to illustrate the problem. We'll go ahead and demonstrate that here. Okay. And we'll take a picture of the lovely Evie. Smile, Evie. All right. You can retake it, you can change it, or you can use the photo, which we'll do here. You need to allow it to access your photos. And you'll know when it's loaded when you see the thumbnail in the corner. Um, also, you can record um, audio to um, get the voter to describe what happened, or you can describe what happened um, if it would help you remember it. Just click record, allow it to access your microphone. Okay. And there are similar boxes to enter information for the witness's first and last name and the witness phone. Um, the witness phone is the last um, question on this particular form. So when you finish, you can go ahead and hit send with the little check mark in the bottom corner. You're going to see it think a little bit. You're going to see a little one in the queue, and most important, you're going to notice that this entire form is cleared, which is how you know that it has accepted that report. So you can either um, wait and use the form to um, take an additional report from a second voter, or you can return to the home screen by hitting settings, which will bring you back to the beginning. Um, you can choose a different form from maps. If you wanted to look at the precinct checklist. And just like the other, it'll show up in both maps and layers. You can access it using form and fill out the various questions. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the home screen. I'm going to select Election Collection. And I'm going to show you here, you can also view it in the map view. And you'll notice here now there are three reports instead of two. So we've successfully recorded a voter report. Okay, and you can just return to the settings to bring it to the home screen. If at any time um, you are in the middle of taking a report and you realize that you cannot complete it or um, you just need to clear it, um, you can return to the home screen from the form and hit refresh form and it'll clear everything out for you without having to send it. If you need to log out, the user login is at the bottom. You just click it, and it'll bring you back to the login screen. So that's the basic introduction to election collection. Thank you very much for watching.